what's up everyone today i'm going to show you how to port forward this is a kind of tricky thing if you haven't done it before uh, disclaimer i take no responsibility for whatever you do to your network i just want to throw it out there but i'm going to show you how i do with mine and the first thing if you're completely new is that you want to localize what address your network is on so we want to hit the run command or search here uh, but I prefer run which is Windows or plus R key and then you type CMD and press enter and here we get a command prompt uh, and we want to type ipconfig slash all and by doing this we will list uh, IP settings pretty much so here's just some configuration and what we want to look for is the default gateway it's on 192.168.0.1 which is pretty much standard for gateways and such uh, sometimes it could be 1.1 but whatever so we're going to go to this address here uh, and just as a little extra 1.92.1 192.164 is so-called private networks I'm not going to explain any further so this is the um, interface uh, of my router where I can log in so go ahead and log in um, yeah. and if you're underage you may want to ask for your parents permission before making any modifications to the network um, just in case so just log in and once I mean it looks like this to me um, yeah just looks like this two connected devices good status and I want to go to the router and I want to go to advanced and I want to go to port forwarding so this is the current port forward setting I use for my server whenever it's up um, and I'm going to create a new one uh, so what I want to do is I want to choose a port and I'm using the nationals stock port or whatever oh did incorrect um, so I'm using the 19801 um, so we want to start at this port and we want to end because we just want one port if you want three ports you can do this and I will be uh, zero, 1, 2 and 3 uh, but I just want 1 so we're going to external same here protocol we want to choose UDP TCP is a little more safe protocol or at least in the concern that things get which should uh, UDP is a little faster so we want to go with UDP uh, and if you go with TCP it won't work and enable on or yes or whatever uh, now we have one more thing we need to do um, or on my old uh, network I didn't need to do this but on this one I do and um, I need to port forward to a specific IP when I had my old uh, router uh, I did not have to do this it just uh, detected everything by itself but here I have my IP address here this is the one I use it's a static one and I will show you that later uh, so we're going to do with the same point 168.0.10 and apply so if I want to run a server now on uh, this port uh, it's all good it's port forward into my PC and it should work so that's just the port forwarding part uh, however I needed to create a static IP I'm going to show you how now okay so we want to create a static IP an IP address that won't change so we're going to do that now we go to the router tab I'm going to go to the basic and then I'm going to go to the DHCP v4 server DHCP is a service that automatically gives out IP addresses so here we are and what we want to do is we want to use the MAC address to um, assign it to a specific IP and the MAC address is the network interface card's physical address so that 
so the MAC address won't change. So to find out what your MAC address is, we're going to go to the comment prompt once again. So let's go here and if we type CLS, it's going to clear the screen. So we want to go to IP config slash all and here we got an IP configuration. So then we can go check here Ethernet adapter local error connection. That sounds about right. Physical address BC blah 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 blah. The physical address, which is the MAC address, is supposed to be 12 characters long, uh, mixed uh, letters and numbers. Uh, as you can see here, BC 5F F4. Um, I've covered a little part since. My computer is private, and I want I don't want to give my MAC address out. But that's um, that's a MAC address um, right there. Physical address, and then we just type in whatever is here. Uh, and this is the computer I want to run the server on. Uh, so I've already added here. So let's say we want to use uh, another MAC address. I'm just going to create one that isn't existing but it could be an example uh, it could look like this and let's say this is the computer we want to run the server on and we want to assign it to the static IP of 192.168.0.99 we just type in and we address add so that's the one, that's how we do it. And to prove that this works, I'm going to delete my IP address and uh, add it again and assign it to, uh, let's see, 55 and click add. Uh, so what we're going to do here is clear the screen and then we want to go to IP config slash all and uh, we can see that our IP address is 182.168.0.10 as it used to be which is not what we want and now what we want to do is we want to type in IP config slash release and this releases the current IP address and doesn't assign a new one so we want to type in config IP config slash renew and this does what this does is that it will uh, request for a new IP address let's see here just waiting for the new IP address to be assigned to the computer and we can see here IPv4 address point 55. So we successfully created an um, IP address, uh, a new static one. So this is how you create a static address. And the use of the static IP address was when we were supposed to port forward because we wanted to port forward to an IP address. And every router interface looks a little different, and some function may be different example of my old one. I did not need to port for a specific IP address, but now I do. So what we want to do is port for an IP address, choose the ports, uh, local and external. I just go with the same ones. It's easiest. The protocol should be UDP, descriptions, whatever. Uh, I mean, you want to have it enabled. On my old router I had, so I created uh, a task or a list or whatever a port forward rule but it didn't activate it so I needed to go and activate it once again it's just a google the router name and model and it will come up something so this is how you port forward I hope this was any help and uh, like if you got helped or something have a great day and I see you in my next video